Okay, confession time. As much as I may look like a tech genius, I've been living on the edge when it comes to data. But hey, it's time for a tech intervention. We're taking data back up to the next level. So I reached out to my pals over at Synology and simply said, Help, stop! Please, it's an emergency! After a bit of back and forth to clarify what I meant, they sent me a big old package. And here we are. This right here is the Disk Station DS423, paired up with two shiny, brand new Synology four terabyte drives. From what I've gathered, this combo is the magic solution that's going to put an end to my data related chaos and let me sleep like a baby at night. With this unit, I've essentially unlocked the superpower of having a secure cloud storage solution that can gobble up a jaw dropping 72 terabytes of data all under my own digital roof. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Not only can I share files and media safely over my private cloud, but my family can use it too. It's versatile enough to handle everyone's files scattered across our PCs, Macs, phones, and even external storage devices, despite all living in different places. It doesn't matter if I'm at my desktop, on the move with my phone, or even on my TV. This setup has me covered. I can browse, access, edit, and share my precious data from all of these devices. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. What about those, uh, you know, private photos, man? Well, fear not, my friends, because Synology employs a fancy file system that kind of, I don't know, looks like a secret code. It's like having a vault within a vault to secure my data against any digital mishaps. Plus, I can roll back any accidental or malicious changes faster than you could say on a monopia. Probably. I, I don't actually, I can't confirm that part, but rest assured, your secrets are safe. Let's dive into the serious side of things. My mission, bulletproof backup for all my files, because, you know, Murphy's Law is uh, always lurking. I mean, sure, I've got Google Drive, but <laughs> there's just something reassuring about having a rock solid in-house backup. With this setup, I can finally sleep at night without worrying about cyber attacks or a sudden hard drive meltdown. It's pure peace of mind, my friends. Now let's take a look at the device itself. The front's got these handy indicators for LAN and drive status, plus a power button, of course. Around the back, we've got some fans keeping things cool, a power port, two gigabit ethernet ports, two USB 3 ports, and a reset button. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Just take off these four screws and inside you'll find four bays. A future-proof bonus for sure since I'll only be using two for now. Once I had my drives in place, setting this baby up was as easy as pie. I, I don't actually, I don't know what that means. Easy as pie? Is pie easy? I don't know. Anyway, now let me address the elephant in the room. No, not me. Some folks out there say that this Synology NAS might be a tad pricey for what it offers at $370. But there are people like me who love the plug and play simplicity. So it might not be everyone's cup of tea. If you're an expert, well, shut up. <laughs> You'll probably pass on this one. If you're running a bustling small business with a bunch of employees, you might be eyeing something a bit speedier. But for the cozy confines of my humble home, and of course, for my family, this is all I need. The web interface made configuring my storage pool a breeze, and it even held my hand through the mystical world of RAID. So whether you're a tech rookie or pro, you can figure this out. So uh, here we are in the present day. I've had this bad boy running smoothly for a bit now, and uh, guess what? Not a single hiccup to report. I wish I could spice things up with some crazy story, but the honest truth is, this is exactly what I wanted. A no fuss in-house data backup solution. I wanted something that I could just set and forget. And let me tell you, sometimes I forget. No, seriously, though, it's a game changer. Sure, in the future, I'd love to dive even deeper into the world of NAS. NAS is, NAS, NASA? But for now, I'm okay with letting this thing work its magic. The craziest I've gotten is setting up Plex for all of my media needs. It's been working. I don't, what, I don't know what that was, but it's been working flawlessly. I've been able to store all my childhood home videos on it and share it with my brothers so they can watch them at their own house. And uh, I don't have to worry now about losing these videos that mean so much to us. Big shout out to the awesome folks over at Synology for hooking me up, and helping me get serious about my data. You can pick up your own DS423 today. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. If you have any ideas, recommendations, anything like that for my NAS setup, let me know in the comments below. I'm brand new, so I'm open to hearing what you have to say. Anyways, that's a wrap folks. Until our next 
tech rendezvous. It's time to bid a deal. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, toodles. Thank you for watching Swashing on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed watching. If not, then fuck you. Please hit subscribe because my channel is dead. Jesus Christ, man, that's just really sad.